Danielle. I'm the CNE at West Coast General Hospital for the perinatal program. Today we're going to review newborn blood work collection and sampling. Resources available to you for neonatal blood work is the neonatal lab binder found in the nursery shelf, which includes all tests that can be ordered on a newborn. It will include tips for collection, what collection container can be used, and how the sample should be stored. On the second page of the binder, you will see a page that has the max allowable total blood draw volumes for the baby's weight. Another resource available for staff is a pre-prepared newborn blood collection kit. This includes a pre-filled requisition for a CBC, blood culture, and acute capillary blood gas. If the pediatrician has ordered additional blood work, please refer to the neonatal lab binder. Included in the pre-made newborn kit is a quick reference guide for neonatal blood collection. Collecting the sample. Please call the lab and have the lab tech there during the blood collection. If the lab is available, they can collect the capillary samples for the acute blood gas and the CBC. Ideally, the lab should be present so staff can pass off the samples to them as soon as they are collected. At times at our site, the lab can be unavailable, so it is important for staff to be aware of the process. Blood culture. The blood culture needs to be collected prior to antibiotics being started on the newborn blood culture sample has to be a venous sample. This can be with the insertion of the peripheral IV or from the UV line. Use the pink lid pediatric culture vial. If using a UV, discard approximately 0.5 milliliters of blood prior to collection of your sample. Put blood for culture in the bottle before filling other tubes. Be aware the vacuum seal will take the full sample from the syringe. Pass off sample to the lab. The CBC and acute cap gases can both be drawn from a capillary sample. Pre-warm the skin puncture site. This will increase the blood sevenfold and prevent excessive milking or squeezing. Make sure the alcohol dries. Alcohol can have a hemolytic effect on red blood cells and wipe away the first drop of blood collected. Avoid milking scraping of the puncture site as this technique can promote platelet clumping and clotting. Use the lavender micro container and fill to in between the first and second line. Do not go over the second fill line. Acute capillary gases. Use a capillary tube located in the pre-made kit. Put the magnetic flea into the heparinized capillary tube. Hold one end of the capillary tube horizontally into the forming blood drops, filling the tube and keeping the air out. Once it is full, place both caps on the end. Use the magnet and run it, run it back and forth 10 times. This enhances the mixing. Label the sample by applying the sample, the label, on the very tip of one of the purple ends and pass or bring the samples to the lab immediately. When ordering an acute capillary gas, you're going to get capillary gas results, but you're also going to get testing for hemoglobin, ionized calcium chloride, glucose, lactate, potassium, and sodium. Thank you for taking the time to watch this educational video today.